Zero FX speed. So we're here with the Raspberry Pi 2 and my Yaesu FT70D. We've put an SD card in it as normal and the SD card is running a Pi Star image. We haven't configured anything. This is just a normal cheap hat that you'd get for about £25 off of eBay and um, it's going to be running the Pi Star system for DMR, D Star and Fusion. Now at the moment it's quite expensive to buy a Pi 3B or and it's impossible to buy a Pi Zero virtually until they come out. So I thought, well, let's try let's try a Pi Two. Now this one is on my connected to my router at the moment, just via Ethernet. Because as you know, a Pi Two has got lots of USB connectors and um, an Ethernet, so it's easy to also connect an external screen. But let's just quickly configure it to uh, to run on my uh, Fusion radio here. I'll just show you the Pi Hat that I purchased. So it's a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B version 1.1. I've also purchased a USB Wi-Fi dongle, and we're going to try that soon. I'm uh, just checking to see if the Raspberry Pi 2 has got Wi-Fi built in. To find things, you can use a program called Angry IP Scanner, and it scans everything on your network. And there it is. It appears as 192.168.0.105, and it's called Pi Star. To get PyStar, you just go to PyStar website and you've got the down, click download, which is near the bottom there, and you'll get to this. And just download the bottom one that ends 2021 zip. Use a program called Bellina Etcher just to get that image from the, the zip that you get and transfer it onto your normal SD card, micro SD card. You can use 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, it'll be fine. And then if you're going to use Ethernet like I have, then you won't need to put your Wi-Fi details on. But if you do want to put Wi-Fi details on, then all you do, go to Pi Star Tools up here on the left and select Wi-Fi Builder and you'll get this here. If you put in your the username and password of your router at home and click Submit, it will create a small file for you. This file is called a WPA Supplicant. Just drag that into your SD card, then put the SD card into your hotspot and then you'll get to the uh, setup screen, which will look like this. Be patient, leave it in your hotspot and your hotspot running for a couple of minutes, or say about five minutes for it to show up. When it does show up, it will look like this for the very first time. Click configuration and it's going to ask for a password, which is PyStar and Raspberry and sign into it. And then you're going to get your first time configuration. Start off by putting in your call sign here and the frequency you want to use. We've got that in, we've even named it PyStar Fusion 70. And for now, just click Apply Changes, wait a few minutes for it to reboot, and then you need to select the modem. So what that means is you're gonna tell it what hotspot you've got, and this is essential. Once we've done that, we'll also tell it what screen we're using, and it's using a little blue OLED screen. You'll get some messages like this, but just click OK. Now that we've got the, uh, we, the, we've gone back into the configuration, we need to tell it what we're going to use. So we're going to use YSF, so slide YSF there. We don't need to touch up here at the top, but we do need to tell it that we've got an OLED screen. So here at the bottom, MMD D display type, OLED type three, leave the rest for now. And then we need to tell it what modem we're using. So see it says here radio modem. Now this is really important that you get this right. So let's just go drop down because there's lots of different hotspots. Most people use this one, STM, DVM, Raspberry Pi hat. Okay, select that and then hit apply at the bottom. Again, be patient while it reboots. Okay, it's just rebooted. I heard the radio say connect. Now we're just going to go down. Look, it says here that it's connected to America Link. You do have a drop down there where you can select other things or you can use the radio, but we'll leave it there for now. And then let's just go to the configuration. No, then they go to the, sorry, the dashboard. And let's see if we can actually activate the, the hotspot and talk on America Link. You'll notice that it's all green here and that's what you're looking for. Green, green, green to show that it's connected. Before we go to the radio, let's have a quick look to see at the Wi-Fi, if there's any Wi-Fi possibilities there. We'll go to the bottom. I can't see system. There's nothing mentioned in Wi-Fi at all. No, can't see anything for that at all. So what we're going to do is 
just have a quick test on the radio and then we're going to plug in the dongle and see if the Pi Star software can work that one out. So let's just give a quick audio test and see if anyone can hear us. So on the FT70, it's just my frequency simplex and we're in DN mode and we're going to give a quick call just for an audio check. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB audio check. And you can see that the, uh, the screen is now showing all the information. Just as listening, it's also got my IP address. So like I said, the hat's about £25. The Pi 2, same again, a bit, bit less. And then the C4FM radio, second hand, about £130. So for a few hundred pounds, you're completely into the digital system. Let's try again for an audio check. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. M0 FXB, calling for an audio check. Mike Zero Foxtrot X-Ray Bravo. See if someone comes back. There is a parrot test. I think I'd rather just give the uh, the wireless thing a test. Because if it's wireless, we can move this around. We do have a, a power supply here from the Raspberry Pi. Just the standard Raspberry Pi power supply. Zero X-ray Bravo, this is Whiskey Ford WPPX, Don in Hollywood, Florida. You're sounding very good, very good. There you are, Don in Florida. So let's just reply. M0FXB. Yeah, hi Don, it's uh, Andrea, Southwest UK. Oh, thanks for the good audio report. I just, I just dug out an old Raspberry Pi 2 because one of my jumbo hotspots had stopped working. So I've just put this Pi 2 on, which you can still get these days. Uh, this is the Pi 3s and the Pi 0s you can't seem to get. And I'm just testing it out. Back over to you, Andreas M0FXB on a Yesu FT70. Sorry about the shaking. Let's plug in the adapter for now. We'll turn it off, plug the adapter in and see if it shows up on our network. Okay, just plugged it in. Now we did come with a CD and maybe there's another way of doing this, but I'm just fingers crossed that it will just work. So dongles in and um, we'll leave the Ethernet in for now so that we can find it using Ethernet and then put the settings in for, for wireless. Right, okay, we're well, no Wi-Fi showing up, so we'll save that for the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. 7-3, all the best.